all right guys welcome back to the shop today is monday and i've come down here this morning without my camera so i want to show you what i got done uh i've got the seal plate sprayed with bed liner on this side so it comes up right here and all the way up to there right even with that gray and what I did is I just masked this side off and sprayed it. And then I went over here and masked the other side off and sprayed it because the plastic wouldn't, it wasn't long enough to reach all the way across. I cut it a little short. So here's this one after being sprayed. And I've just got to uh, remove the masking tape and uh, the plastic. So it should be. It's still just a bit tacky. You can see that stuff gets on and it won't come off. In spots, still a bit tacky. So it should come, the tape should come off pretty easy. You don't want this stuff to sit here till it cures and then try to get this tape off. You'll never get it off. So, so I'm going to get this tape off and I'll show you what it looks like. If I had a place to set you down, uh, I'd let you watch. But unfortunately, there's no room over here. It's real tight. And I'm hoping this right here didn't bleed through. So let me get this tape off and we'll take a look at it. All right, this side had just a little bit of bleed through. But it looked, turned out pretty good. Now you can see right here, this area that uh, was left that bright blue, but that'll never show. What I was trying to do with this stuff was to cover up the blue streak that was down through here. So I'm going to just try to take a little bit of mental spirits and kind of wipe over these areas that's, that's uh, run a little bit. One pretty good one right there. You don't want to wipe too hard because you take a, take a chance of of wiping too much off. Like I can say this stuff is still fairly damp. Let's see if I can get that right there. Now the metal spirit should not hurt the the clear coat <clears throat> at all. That looks pretty decent. I may have to go back once it dries and see if I can get a little more of it. I don't know. I got so much to do. Uh, I'm gonna trip over something, break my neck. So on this side, I didn't really have too bad. Just like some right there that could stand it. I went to swap hands. piece right here and this side's had a little longer to dry so it may not want to come off as good as the other side yep. don't want to come off but that's the only bad spot on here uh, that I see now I've got to go back and get that uh, masking tape off these bumpers I'm on I left this other one hopefully with a little lay, a little lip on the tape, I couldn't get it off of that one. I wanted to cut it off. And this one, I left the tape end a little bit folded over on itself so that I could get it off the leaves are, and that worked pretty good. All right, so while I was doing this, I was also priming the core support uh, I got I got part of it primed last night one side so and I run out of primer that primer I bought uh, wouldn't spray them very good but I had some of this rust oldum rusty metal primer that I finished up with and it sprayed real good so kind of missed one little spot right there I'll go back and touch that up the only bad, really, really bad spot was right here on this side. And I think I, 
might have showed y'all that in a previous video. This is the side where the battery tray sits. So I'm sure over time, battery acid has eat this thing up. It's still enough where it will hold and put a bolt through here into the fender well. It's still good here. And the nuts are still attached to it. So I'm not really going to worry with that. I'm just going to paint it and go on because if I had to cut it out I'd have to cut it out somewhere all the way back here and all the way down and uh, and I don't even know if you can get a uh, a uh, repair patch for that and I ain't sure the other one's any better I hadn't took the core support off the parts truck uh, front clip it on all the front clips still together so We'll ride with it. it uh, like I said, it won't be that noticeable. Like if it was going to be a showroom quality restoration, you definitely want to fix that. But uh, this is going to be a nice play truck. Hopefully, it's going to be a nice play truck. It's going to be a damn expensive one. Time we get done with it, but uh, you know, pricing these eighty uh, mid eighties. K10s, short beds especially, they want a fortune for a nice one. You know, upwards to you know eight thousand and up for a nice one, and this one's gonna be a nice one. So I think we'll uh, we'll at least have it'll be worth what I've put into it. I think I'm probably going to end up having about between five and six thousand in it. By the time I'm done. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna go cut some hay and. Uh, uh, I'll try to get that done. It looks like it's a chance of rain this evening But after today, it's supposed to be real nice uh, low humidity cooler temps, so Probably won't do much more in here today tomorrow. I'm gonna work on these doors And uh, I'll give you an update on those when I get when I get done with those and we'll get ready to hang them I think I'm gonna just go ahead and hang them and cover it up with plastic I throw my interior stuff boxes inside of it cover it back up with plastic and then start on the uh, the inner fenders and the front uh, fenders fenders and inner fenders first the inner first the inner fenders and, and the core support and then the front fenders and hood and I've got to get a bunch more sand to sand this hood down it's going to take a lot of sand all right, by the way, if you was wondering what I used, it's the rust oleum truck bed coating. This stuff does not spray all that great. You have to keep, keep shake it and then spray a little bit, shake it and spray a little bit. And it says any ang any angle spray tip with uh, any angle spray. And I, I'm not sure that's, the, you know, I'm not sure that's true. But uh, it did all right. You just have to shake it and spray and shake it and spray. And it don't spray long for it to quit spraying the texture out of it. Just thought I'd throw that in there in case you was wondering. Now, right, guys, I was attempting to spray this... Uh, this damn core support with this purple gun, I can see it's leaking, so I'm gonna have to dump this cup out and put some thread seal around it. So I don't really like the looks of these guns at all. Alright, so having used this gun, you can see it leaks. Leaks through by the needle. The best thing I can say about this gun. Is it don't hurt the wallet to throw the son of a bitch away. That's the best thing I can say about it. Now, did it spray okay? Yeah, it sprayed alright. Uh, you had to turn. I had to turn the air way up on it to keep it from just leaking out the tip. But I got it sprayed, and I would never use that gun to do a quality finish job you know if I was really gonna do a base clear that gun would not be part of the arsenal at all 
And really, but really the only place I had to run was right here. And that's because I was out, I was almost out and I, I had it going this way, it was not, not spraying. So I turned it up and then I went in like this and it got enough fluid in there to splotch it in, in there. But other than that, I mean, it, it looks all right. I mean, it looks as good as a rattle can. It's hard to get on this thing. I looks like I missed a, a wee little spot right up in there. But it's hard to get all these nooks and crannies. But uh, I went ahead and painted the other side and turned it over and, and painted this side. So it's all painted. Now what will probably happen is when I turn it back over in a few days, it's going to stick to the wood and I'll have to touch up where it's stuck. But uh. You know, I want to go ahead and get both sides in case it rained again. Hopefully we don't get no rain today because I ain't got nowhere to put it. I'll just have to throw plastic over it. But it is painted and uh, so it says wait uh, 24 to 48 hours before handling. So I'm going to let it sit here and dry and cure outside. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and put my trim piece back on here. You see, we still had a little bit of rust through right here up on that trim, so I, I really won't show with that trim on there. And, uh, and of course, the bottom right here. But really, ain't nothing I can do about that other than buy another course board or find one that's got a good bottom and cut it out. I just ain't going to go to that much trouble, I don't believe. But this is the Eastwood Under Hood Black. And this paint has been in this can since I bought it to do my diesel truck about five years ago. It's been stored. I'm sure it's been froze a few times. The can had kind of even pooched out a little on the ends. And when I popped it open, it popped like it was under pressure. So it's kind of messy, but it, you do mix it with lacquer thinner. Uh, you can mix it up to three to uh, 150 percent, from 100 to 150 percent lacquer thinner. So one to one or two to three. Uh, I just mix it one to one because I wanted it to go a little further. I mean, uh, to be a little thicker. And of course, here's where it leaked to start with out of the out of the. Uh, reservoir i didn't realize it was leaking but anyway you got to have some thread cell tape and they don't give you nothing to take the needle out i end up taking a pair of pliers that needle really it looks like it's supposed to use something like something like this to get it out it's got slots cut in it but a wrench or socket won't fit it but these are too small that's what it looked like it was made for and I'm thinking where's the daggum the kit for it because all it comes with is a little cleaning brush and a strainer and uh, they don't give you nothing to take that off with and best thing to do if you're going to use these purple ones is take them apart and clean them good because it did have some kind of stuff in there and uh, I I doused it with some cleaner and rinsed it out a little bit before I put anything in it, but I couldn't get it to the, I got the needle off, but it looked like the air horn, the air thing with all the holes in it was about stopped up. So I don't know, uh, you can figure out how to get them apart, clean them good. It may be a halfway decent gun, I don't know, but for what I'm going to use it for, for just uh, stuff like this and primer. Stuff I can just shoot, trash it. Uh, ten dollars. It's it's not worth ten dollars for me to have to tr try to clean these guns here. So uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.